Hey, Budget Girl here. So many of you have noticed and many of you have commented asking, where have my monthly debt report videos gone? Uh, I posted them every month for a year and a half and suddenly they aren't there anymore. Have I stopped budgeting? Have I stopped debt repayment? Am I just bullshitting you with the four videos a week I am posting? Where are they? I'm about to tell you. There is a reason. In August, I decided after a lot of thought that I needed to save $2,000. I chose to pause my report videos because I didn't want to tell you why I wanted to save $2,000. And I'm still not going to tell you why I saved $2,000, though I am going to tell you why I'm not telling you, if you followed that. There are a handful of completely legitimate reasons to pause your debt snowball. I did an entire video on them, which I will link below. But the main thing is, is that if something, if you see something coming on the horizon that's going to cost you a lot of money, you have two choices. One, you can continue your plan like you don't see it coming. Or two, you can pause your snowball temporarily, choosing to stand in place instead of moving forward in the hopes that when it hits, you won't move back. For the sake of this conversation, let's call the oncoming thing a storm. Sometimes the storm can be a good thing like a new baby or a bad thing like an illness or a death. Um, I'm not pregnant and nobody died, but either way, a storm was seen coming on my horizon. If the storm ends up missing you entirely, or if it passes and things happen to work out where you don't need the money that you saved when you did a pause, that's wonderful. And you can still take that little stockpile and throw it at your debt. But if you choose to do it the other way, where you ignore the oncoming storm and you keep plugging away at the baby steps, then some things are going to happen. First, you're going to be mostly screwed. Um, you're not going to have the money that the storm requires and you're going to have to take on more debt most likely. And that is not a pause anymore. That is moving backwards. You're getting further into debt and that debt is going to have interest. So instead of standing in place for a minute to prepare for the oncoming storm, you're actually moving yourself backward by staying on your track. A lot of debt repayment and about money management is about preparing for what's going to happen to you. Okay. So here is why I'm not going to tell you right now why I chose to save $2,000. One, because it's personal. And while I'm extremely open about my money decisions and my life on this channel, even though I choose to put myself out there, I reserve the right to keep things to myself. Second to that, though not second overall, I don't feel like I owe anyone an explanation of my choices. Some people think that I do because I put myself on the internet. I've even had people demand that I take my channel down because I'm no longer doing my debt reports and I'm obviously not doing anything budgeting. I don't feel like I owe anyone a justification of every single one of my actions or any of my actions, really. I choose to put what I choose to put out there, but I reserve the right to th keep things personal. Some people have taken an unearned ownership of my life and my choices, and unfortunately for them, that's just not how this works. Number two, the main reason is it's not appropriate. I, it's not always appropriate to put your plans on the internet before you tell the people that it directly affects. And I'm certainly not going to do that. In fact, it's wrong. I honestly think it's wrong to do that. I don't think it's ethical to be broadcasting things that will affect people before telling them about it. And this storm affects people in my life. The good news is I have three pieces of good news for you. One is I plan to tell you why I saved the money when the time is right, but not before. Good news piece number two, I did save the $2,000. And since I saved it, I've been putting all of my extra money back at my debt, which if you've been following along on my channel and you've seen my current debt in every video that I post, it did kind of stay at the same level for a while because I was putting extra money onto my savings instead of the debt. But recently, my debt started to drop by large chunks again. 
And the third piece of good news is that this video pause of monthly debt reports was always supposed to be temporary. Honestly, I thought that the storm would come in just a couple of months and that I'd be able to go ahead and reveal all, but the storm hasn't come yet. And I don't know when it's going to come. But I realized that I don't have to tell you why I saved the money. I'm perfectly happy telling you that I saved it and I'll tell you why I saved it when I can. So, I'm bringing back the monthly report card videos. They're going to pick up exactly where I left off and I'm going to release them over the next couple of weeks. Thank you all for your understanding of my privacy and my decision to keep my, some parts of my personal life personal. And know that the $2,000 is going to go to a very good cause that is important. I wouldn't do this if it weren't. So my debt reports will be back very soon and I hope you enjoy them. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them below. If I don't answer them, it's because I'm not comfortable sharing. Not because I don't love you, not because Rory doesn't love you, but just because some parts of our lives are just gonna stay part of our lives for right now. We love you and we'll see you very soon. Bye. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up for debt report cards videos returning if you're excited about them and thank you for understanding again i am just doing the best that i can with what i have and the wisdom that god has given me and i'm trying to live my life as well and as ethically as i possibly can and i'd certainly rather err on the side of caution and not reveal too much than to regret things later and i can only imagine that each of you would try to do the same thing if you were in my shoes see you soon